I have a sister, she is 47 years old. She wants to have the third kid, but the doctors told her that she cannot have babies anymore because of her eggs. I and my husband decided to gift her a baby, but in IVF way. The baby will grow in a womb, so I would like to know if it is haram or halal. The basic question is that is it permissible to have a baby through IVF? Its full form is in vitro fertilization. And one of the other method is AI, artificial insemination. Number one, as far as the Fokahas they say, can we utilize this method in vitro fertilization or artificial insemination to have a baby? Under normal circumstances, the in vitro fertilization or artificial insemination should not be used unless you have tried all other methods, unless not that you marry and in two years time you don't have a child and you want to do it. It's not so easy. Neither that you already have children and you want to have more children. So all these should not be used for petty reasons. Unless it is you have tried all other methods and you don't have children at all and if it's a requirement in consultation with the doctors, if it is a requirement after you consult the doctors, then you can but there are certain conditions. First I'll describe to you the method of in vitro fertilization, IVF. I'll just describe in brief. In this, the ovaries of the woman, they are stimulated. Then there are eggs that come out. When they get matured, many sperms, maybe 100,000 sperms, are put along with the eggs. Then the zygote is formed. Then the embryo is formed. That which is matured and very healthy is taken, put in the test tube, back into the womb of the woman. And that's how in vitro fertilization in short. In artificial insemination, because of certain problems, the woman cannot conceive. So in artificial insemination, the sperm from the husband is taken and is inserted into the womb of the mother and then the fertilization takes place and the baby is born. As far as IVF, in vitro fertilization and AI, artificial insemination is concerned, there are basically seven types. Out of these seven types, five types are prohibited, are haram. Only two are permitted. One type is that the sperm of the husband is taken and the ova of another foreign lady is taken and both are mixed and put into the womb of the wife. This is prohibited. The second type is that the sperm from a foreign man is taken with the egg ovum of the wife and both are put into the womb of the wife. This is also prohibited. The third is that the sperm of the husband and the ova of the wife is taken and put into a third person. This is called a surrogate mother. This is exactly the same question asked by the lady, it is totally prohibited. If the sperm and the ovum of the husband and wife are taken and put, in, and put into a third woman, this is prohibited. It is haram. Because besides the husband and wife, a third party is involved, this is totally haram. The fourth type is that the sperm of a foreign man is taken and put into the woman in artificial insemination and the baby is born, even this is haram. All these are heterogeneous, it's haram. And the fifth type is that the sperm of the husband, the, the sperm of a foreign man and the ovum of a foreign lady is joined together and put into a third lady's womb. Even this is prohibited. All these five types of in vitro fertilization and artificial insemination is prohibited. The only two types that are permitted is that if the sperm of the husband is taken and the ovum of the wife is taken and both 
are implanted into the womb of the wife only husband and wife are involved this is called homogeneous this is permitted this type of in vitro fertilization which is homogeneous where the husband's sperm is taken and the ovum of the wife is taken and they are fertilized into the womb of the wife there is no third party involved this is permitted and in artificial insemination if there is a problem in the birth because of fertilization then the sperm of the husband can be taken and implanted into the womb of the wife here also there is no third party involved it is called homogeneous this is permitted so homogeneous artificial insemination insemination and homogeneous in vitro fertilization where only the husband and wife are involved and there is no third party this type of in vitro fertilization and artificial insemination is permitted but that too when it's a dire need it's a requirement not because you want to have one more third child or because you want to have more children no if you don't have children and if you really require to have a child and you have tried all other methods all other medicines and it's not giving any results then as a last resort this type of permitted in vitro fertilization homogeneous or artificial insemination is permitted hope that answers the question